Hello guys, today we'll be connecting the door and the switch. Let's get to it. Um, if you don't have already, add the, the door prefab into the prefabs folder. And then let's make the code for the switch to connect the door and the switch. Um, we're going to open the switch script. And we're going to make here a public door triggers door trigger array called door door trick and let me explain how this works we're going to create a for each loop in the in here and if you don't know a for each loop uses an array in this case will be this array that we created here and for each of the elements of the array, for each trigger, this trigger here is not a variable in anything in anywhere else, is only inside the for each loop. For each trigger in the door trigger, door trig array, so for each trigger in the door trigger array, in this array, we'll do something which will be here. Let me show you what that array is. Right now, as you can see, that array, door, that door trigger array is over here, and we can change its size to say three. And in in here, what we'll do, what we will do, to make the switch manipulate the door, is that we'll add the door triggers of the door that we want to open and close into the that array and add three of them. For example, this is just to show you how it works. Three doors, go to the switch, and you can, or can add the doors, triggers that of the doors that you want to manipulate in there. And now in the this trigger here will be in each loop one of these doors, one of these triggers, and so that th what will happen to the trigger, that trigger which is a, a door trigger and if you don't know a door trigger is a, a reference for our our script door trigger and basically what we can do is we can access the door trigger script any of the its public functions that we're going to create one in here so we're going to create a function called toggle and let's, let's pass it a um, boolean copy the code to the trigger exit and change the boolean from true to false and now let's create that public function here public void in the this function will be in the dot trigger and it will be named toggle and we here pass the pra uh, a bool parameter and so bool and name it something like state and what will happen in this script well if if the state that we transmitted was true so if state is true then what will happen is that we want to open the door and how do we how do we open the door well we have it here already on the on trigger enter function door dot door opens makes the door open because it accesses this door script and finds this door opens function and executes it so if state and else which means if the state is not is false then door closes and right now we should be able to make the door open and close but we still have one little problem which is the colliders of the doors these colliders over here, these triggers we want them to sometimes be activated, sometimes to be deactivated and to do it to make m be activated or deactivated we're going to create a public variable which will be a bool which is is a ignore trigger and we will check this variable to true if we want to ignore it and so if we want to ignore the trigger, 
on the on trigger enter functions of the dot trigger script we want to make here a, a guard clause ignore trigger to make so that if ignore trigger is true then the function then the code will exit off this function and it won't execute the code in it this code over here and go ahead and copy that ignore trigger thing and put it here also and right now it should be working correctly for example we want this the trigger of this door to be ignored so you can just click on ignore trigger and it simply will ignore the trigger now hit play and when we go into the switch it will open all the doors but when we go onto this trigger it won't work but if we trigger one of the other doors they still open as you can see now one thing that we're going to do now is to create a uh, gizmos so that it's better visible what the hell are we, uh, is the switch connected to and we're going to do it on both these scripts first in the switch script create the function create a function called void on gizmos which is the same function that we used on the player jump tutorial and we're going to make the default color be say green so gizmos dot color equals color dot cyan oops cyan there you go and what we're going to do is copy this the for each loop that we have over here that we created in the on trigger functions paste it onto the on draw gizmos and instead of having this trigger dot toggle head thing we'll have a gizmos dot draw line and this will draw a line between two points the first point will be the transform of this switch this and this code is on the switch so you can just put transform that position and it will, it will give us the position of the switch and the other point will be the position of the R trigger of our door trigger so you can just type trigger dot transform the position and it will access for each of the door triggers in that position right and one thing that we also want to do to understand to see actually if the ignore trigger the ignore tri ignore this trigger is true or not and to do that all we have to do is also create a on draw gizmos on the dot trigger script so let's do that and if if ignore trigger is false then we want to show the box so because if ignore trigger is false it means that the player will be able to collide with these green boxes right here so let's make them visible always if ignore trigger is false so we're going to have to create a box collider variable here call it box and we're going to get the component get component and the component is box collider this will be the box collider in the door trigger not in the door and we now we'll be drawing that collider here using a draw wire cube and the center will be the transform dot position which will be the center point of the dot trigger and the size will make it a vector 2 and use the box dot size dot text in the x axis and box dot size dot y in the y axis and now if we, uh, if we save this and go into unity you'll be able to see that the
there are no white boxes in the doors that are that have uh, the collider because we can for example deactivate the collider here and now you no more no longer see the white thing over it and that's it for today guys thank you for watching and see you next time